absolutely insane. And you fought that fish like a pro, Stephanie. I cannot believe that. I know, neither can I. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Life by the Bow. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done an intro like that. But we got Stephanie behind the camera right now. And we're bait fishing, just like always. So we're up here in Florida Bay on a shoreline. We're looking for the live pilchards. We don't really have a plan today. We're kind of just gonna catch bait and then go with the flow, see what happens. But usually when we plan things out that way, it's potential for either a very good day <laughs> or a very bad day. So let's see what we can do. Got them right here next to the pelicans. We saw them crashing. And that was basically the telltale sign that showed us that these pilchards were right here on this flat. All right, here we go. Power pulled down. Let's see if we got them, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a ton of them. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. Nice. So we just made it to our spot. Let me tell you, we got a few friends here. We got a bird right over there. Hopefully we got some fish friends that are gonna come up on the boat, pay us a visit. Hopefully they're big and ready to eat because I'm ready to pull some up. How about you, Clay? I'm ready. You ready? ready? All right, let's see what we can do. There you go. Ooh, what is that? Another little snook, huh? A little snooky poo. Cool. That is. Oh. He's fighting though. I think I, like, I hooked him up. Weird. I think yours might be a little bigger than mine though. Listen, no Mine's matter. He's about the same size. Yeah, see, I hooked him fun. Oh yeah, spiked him. I hooked him underneath his mouth. Well, that's fishing for you. It's all about luck. This guy wasn't meant to be mine, but I still found a way to catch him. Say goodbye to him. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you, buddy. On. Come on. Cool. So if you guys are ever fishing the shorelines down here in the Florida Keys like we are, I just want to give you guys a little bit of insight based on what Stephanie just caught that snook on and what we're going to be using for the rest of the day. Um, this is a 3000 size Akuma Black custom rod and reel combo. I bought these for like a hundred bucks at West Marine like two years ago and they've held up really well so far. Um, just some 15 pound braid um, and then a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with an FG knot there and then a little circle hook and just a loop knot. I mean really really simple stuff. We're just hooking the pilchards right underneath their jaw out through the top lip. They don't stay alive as long that way. Um, but they definitely stay on the hook a lot longer, so to speak. But um, yeah, that's really about it. Very simple and um, very effective down here in the Keys, this little setup. It's pretty deadly. Got him. Got him on, baby. <laughs> that was so cool. I think it's a snook. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Nice, nicer one. That's what's so cool about snook, the way they just oh, come and... Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a nice one. The way they just come up and pop on the surface. So as you guys can see, this is the same exact fish that Stephanie just caught, but just a little tiny bigger. Little tiny, a lot bigger. <laughs> 
That is so cool though, man. Let's release this guy right here. Go catch a couple snapper because our ceviche stock is running low. And I think a couple mangrove snapper will be perfect for it. What do you think? Let's do it. So we just made it to our mangrove snapper spot here. And basically where we're at, we're just here in the bay. We're right up against a grass flat. There's a ton of current just flushing straight through here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put on one of our live pilchards here. Like I said, that's how we're hooking them, right under the draw, uh, excuse me, right under the jaw, out through the top lip. And then I'm just gonna throw out a couple chummers and hopefully these mangrove snapper come up. Let's see, she's got them all. Is it feeling like a nice one? It's pulling. Oh, yeah, it does actually feel like a nice one. It's a fighter, but you never know. Those snappers, no matter how small they are, they're always a good fighter. Yeah, they're always super aggressive. Oh. I just caught one and oh, it was a little small, one. so we let it go. This one's big. Yeah, I think you got a nice one on there. I did. He's pulling really good. <gasps> he got bit. Ooh. In half. Bit in half. Oh my. Oh my Look at that. God. He would have been. That would have been a nice, a nice one too. Oh my! Did you even see what did that to him? No, I just saw the rod just go. Holy! I don't have to worry about him trying to get out of my hands. <laughs> Can't really move right now. That sucks, man. That was a nice mangrove snapper too. I know that would have been probably like a fifteen. What do you think, Clay? Yeah, I'd say about fifteen inches, somewhere around there. That stinks. Well, we'll try again. Yep, got him. Here we go, awesome. baby. Persistence is key. Oh, dang, he's fighting, too. You think we got our legal mango? He feels legal. Ooh, get him. Let's see it, baby. Oh, yeah. I think he'll make it. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. That will be a close call. He's the perfect ceviches. Oh, yeah. He is right on the money there. He's actually over 10 inches. For ceviche, I mean, you don't need much. You'll get a nice little fillet on both sides. I say let's post up on a flat, see if we can catch like a bonefish or a permit. I doubt it'll happen, but see what we could do. Last stop of the day today. We stopped on one of these crystal clear grass flats here in Isla Mirada. Um, we got some live shrimp from Angler Eddie super early this morning because we kind of knew we were gonna do this in the afternoon. And um, now we're finally putting the shrimp to use. We got two rods off the back, two off the front, just soaking them right there on the bottom. At this point, all we gotta do is just keep our fingers crossed and see if a bonefish permit, whatever comes by, and um, we're just gonna sit here, wait, enjoy the sunset, see what we can do. 70 has got a fish on. See if I can keep them on now. Let's see what we got. It's pulling good or? It's pulling, I can't even get anything on them. What are you thinking? Listen, the last time I caught a bonefish, I thought it was like a shark because of how, how much they pull. And look at this, look at this, you hear this? It's definitely a nice fish, whatever it is. Yeah, come on, just get tired. Yeah, wait for him to get tired. How long is that? <laughs> <laughs> this fish has a lot of fight in them. Look at this. I know, it just keeps on going and going. The only thing that keeps me from thinking that it's a bonefish is it just keeps on pulling. It is probably a shark. 
dead weight. I feel like it's a big, whatever it is, it's pretty decent size because I'm like barely getting anything on them. But it's got some weight to it though, right? Oh yeah, I feel the weight. Clay, look at it. It's in the front. I can't see anything. He's right there. Oh my God, it's a permit. Oh my God, wait. All right, keep him on. Oh my God, it's a permit. <laughs> we got a permit, oh, baby. Look That's it, what I'm talking about. Permit. Oh my God, it's Go easy, just go easy, oh go easy. Loosen up that drag a little bit because you got a lot more line on this Look, hole. Look, he's right here. This is sick, guys. We have never, ever caught a permit before. And this <laughs> is a massive one. Stephanie, that thing oh. is massive. Oh my God. All right, go easy on him. Just stay calm, stay calm. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> this is awesome. She's so excited right now. This is my right first now. permit. And it looks like it's a good one. Oh yeah. So working in the marine industry, I've filmed a lot of permits, but I have never actually gotten one as a captain on my own boat. So that's that's so cool. And the fact that my fiance is reeling it in, that is what I'm talking I think about. I need to Riley. Woo oh my god! First permit ever, baby! Look at that! Oh my god! Come grab this fish, let's go ahead get a picture, and then we'll release them as quick as possible. I'm not gonna lie, this is hard to carry. Absolutely insane. <laughs> and you fought that fish like a pro, Stephanie. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I know, neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and take a picture. That's amazing. Stephanie, that is probably one of the coolest things that we have ever done together. I know. Woo -hoo. That was so cool. That was. That just made my day, so I don't really need much more. <laughs> yeah, that's a day all within yeah, itself. Yeah. So people literally try for days, weeks, months, just to try and catch that fish. That is like an absolute prize, catching a permit on the flats in Island Murata. And we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. And it wasn't just a small one. It was no, like no. It was a beaut that, I mean, that was a huge permit. All right guys, so I'm not gonna lie, it has been such a tough day of fishing, but the permit was just the icing on the cake that we needed. But luckily we still do have our little snapper here for our ceviche. <laughs> like I said, it's been a rough day, but just enough for a little tiny appetizer dish. Like I said, we're getting low. So we're just gonna start making cuts, gonna go around the back side of his head, come down his back. Come out through the tail, start coming down his back. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at how white that meat is on him. All right, now we're just gonna finish that cut right here. Boom. Look at how beautiful that is right there. All right, now we're just gonna cut out all these ribs right here. Wanna make sure we don't have any bones. Then they have another little tiny line of bones right here that we're gonna cut out. Nice. All right, so now the bones are gone. The last thing we gotta do is remove the skin. Just gonna get right underneath that meat. Just go back and forth and just push. 
There we go. Beautiful. That's one side. We're going to do the other. I think it's about time we put the camera down, get some sleep, and then make some ceviche tomorrow. Welcome to the kitchen. Tonight, we will be cooking some snapper ceviche. What I'm going to include in my snapper ceviche is pretty basic. The only thing I'm adding a little extra is my mango. So we've got some pepper, red onions, tomatoes, some lime juice, cilantro, and then of course our mango. All we're gonna do is mix all those ingredients together, throw them in the refrigerator, let it sit for a couple hours, and then we got ourselves a good old appetizer. So now, all we gotta do is stick it in the fridge, let it cook for a few hours, and then we have our ceviche. So we had an amazing time. We didn't catch many fish, but we caught a massive permit, and that goes a long way for me. That was my first permit, super excited. Um, there was so much action, but we only brought one fish home. Mm -hmm. Which is all we need. Yes. We don't need any more than that. I mean, for what we made right here, one mangrove stapper was more than enough. It's always nice filling up the boat with fish, but at the same time, when you don't catch a lot of fish, that's less fish you have to clean. And plus, we were kind of fun fishing today. We weren't really fishing to keep. That's kind of what we always do when we inshore fish. but. Without further ado, let's go ahead and try it out. Mmm. Pretty good. Right. Good. I love the mango too. Yeah. Adds so much flavor to it. In addition, it's as good as ever. But mm. I know we do ceviche a lot, and we've done it a couple different times, but this ceviche has nothing to do with us eating. Even though it's good, it has everything to do with you guys being here, you guys watching, and you guys being a part of this YouTube channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for as far as we've come. Um, we're finally here. All the hats are in stock. New performance hooded shirts are in stock. T-shirts are in stock, and we also have actual cold weather hoodies mm -hmm. in stock as well. And, and they're comfortable because I was just trying one on and I already bought my first one. <laughs> they're awesome. And most importantly, when we're here eating, people that make it this far, they're actually really, really interested in these videos and they actually want to watch and hear us talk. And I feel like I don't get to do that a lot of the times because we're so focused on fishing and filming and I'm really dragging this video out, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm not going to edit this down. And um, a lot of that has to do is because this is the only time I really ever get to talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I just want to let you know, again, I appreciate it so much. We appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys. Thank you. Bye.